Welcome to the Anxiety Challenger demo. The Anxiety Challenger app is designed to help you to apply anxiety management skills you've been learning. As you know, the most important thing you can do to win against anxiety and OCD is move toward the situations that you've been avoiding and use those opportunities to practice responding to anxiety in a healthy way. So let's start by scheduling some challenges where we'll do that. I'll click the orange Schedule Challenge button at the bottom of the home screen. Let's say that I'm choosing to work on a fear of public speaking. Since it makes me anxious just to think about public speaking, one of my first challenges will be to prepare my speech. So I'll write that into the first line here. And I'll schedule this challenge for tonight at 7 p.m. I know that anxiety will probably make it hard to get started and hard to concentrate on my speech. So now I'll decide what kinds of things I want to say to myself to cope when that happens. That's called self-talk, and it really helps. First off, I want to think about what I'll say to motivate myself to keep going when it gets tough. I'll take a look at these examples here. And I really like this fourth message about wanting my life back, so I'll select that one. Now for the next type of self-talk, instructions. These are tips to help me avoid snags and score as many points as possible against anxiety. Here, I think I'll write my own message to remind myself to keep turning my attention back to the task at hand when anxious thoughts distract me. Now for the last type of self-talk, the cunning messages. This is the one where I'll really outsmart anxiety by asking it for more, because the best way to win against anxiety is to move towards it, not away from it. I love the first example where I ask anxiety to scare me even more, so I'll choose that one. So now that I've planned out exactly what I'm going to do, when I'm going to do it, and what I'll say to myself to keep myself on track, I'll hit save. Now I can see that upcoming challenge on my home screen, and Anxiety Challenger will remind me when it's time to do it. Let's set up a reward system now so that when I start doing challenges, I'll have some nice things to look forward to. I'll add my first reward by clicking the plus sign icon at the bottom of the screen. I'll give myself a small reward after I've made a little progress to really motivate myself to get started. So I'll treat myself to a bubble bath after I've earned my first five points. The rewards I've scheduled and my progress towards them will display on this screen. While I'm here, I'll also add a bigger, longer-term reward. Once I've really started winning against anxiety, say after I've earned 50 points, I'd like to go get a massage. I'll enter that reward too, so the Anxiety Challenger can track it for me and let me know once I've earned it. Now that I've set up a reward system that sounds good to me, I'll go back to the home screen. And I'll go ahead and do my speech writing challenge now. To get started, I can just click on it. So here, I see all those self-talk messages that I chose earlier. They're here to remind me of how I want to respond when anxiety bothers me while I'm writing the speech. Remember, you earn a point every time anxiety bothers you when you respond by stepping back to notice that anxiety, saying one of your self-talk messages to yourself, and then turning your attention back to your task. So every time I score a point by using my self-talk and then going back to writing the speech, I'll click this star button at the bottom. So during my challenge, I'll keep using this button like a tally counter every time I score a point. The app will give me encouragement here in the feedback section each time I score. 
When I'm done with this challenge, I'll click Done in the upper right corner. Now the app will ask if I'm finished and if I would like to record my points. And you bet I do want to keep track of my hard-earned points, so I'll say yes. Next, since practice makes perfect, Anxiety Challenger will ask me if I'd like to repeat this challenge sometime in the future. The more times I practice a tough situation and score points against anxiety, the easier that situation will become. So I'll say yes and schedule it again for tomorrow. And look, Anxiety Challenger is letting me know that I've leveled up in the app. When you earn enough points to reach certain milestones, you'll get congratulated so that you can feel good about your progress. Now, as we all know, anxiety and OCD can pop up out of the blue sometimes. So you don't have to schedule a challenge to respond to anxiety and earn points. Anytime you find yourself bothered by anxiety, you can click Instant Challenge here at the bottom of the home screen and keep track of the points you score in the same way. And check it out! Anxiety Challenger is letting me know that I've now earned enough points to take that bubble bath. Another way to keep yourself motivated is to go to the Progress screen by clicking on the ribbon icon. Here I can see a graph which will show me the points I've earned over time. I can watch that total get higher day by day. I can also see all the levels I can reach in the app, from newbie all the way up to legend. Just think how great I'll feel once I've won against anxiety 500 times. Now that I've done a couple challenges, I'd like to let my therapist know about my accomplishments. I can do that in the menu up at the top right here. This feature uses the email account that you have set up on your phone. For me, that's Gmail, so I'll click on that. So here the app has created a report with all the scheduled and instant challenges that I've completed, when I did them, the points I earned for each one, and the self-talk I used to handle anxiety. All I have to do is hit send, and then my therapist will know exactly what I've been working on. Now we've gone over all the major features of Anxiety Challenger, and I hope this app can be a valuable tool for you. Thanks for watching.